So this hive inspection ought to be an interesting one. If you happen to see the video on euthanizing a hive, prior to having to do that with that hive, I tried to split it up to divide the workforce so that there was a less defensive colony. The second part of that hive is sitting right here in the gray box on the top. Now what I've done is it has a queen excluder halfway through so they can't get too big in population. And I've allowed the colony to progress and they should have recycled after requeening. And I'm hoping that the colony is a little more docile. But we're gonna find out. I'm gonna do an inspection now. I've done two inspections of this hive. First time I opened it up, they were aggressive. That's to be expected because they still had all the aggressive bees. The second time, they were testy, but they were not aggressive. Over the summer and with the recycle of bees and a new queen in here with different genetics, I'm hoping that this hive has calmed down a little bit. So I'm gonna open it today, and I think today will be a really good test to see where it landed because it's multiple weeks since I've made this hive and, and uh, I've been trying to remediate what has been going on with it. So let's see what goes on here.
Something really interesting that this hive did, and I don't know why. They started with foundation. I mean, you could see where the wires are. In every single frame on the back, they chopped that part out, and it's open. It's kind of interesting. So this was given to them a week and a half ago as foundation only, and they went through and built the whole thing out. Now there's tons of bees up here because they've been using the top entrance and they've got no place to go in the hive. I have a queen excluder sitting underneath the medium box and what I'm doing here is I'm going to take the queen excluder out and put the deep on it and put this medium bump on the top where it belongs. In the end, I'm really, really happy. I don't find these bees to be really aggressive. I did get stung, as you saw, probably, because I reached over the frame too fast. Uh, boy, is it windy. Um, now they're gonna be happy because their top entrance is back, but in time, because I took the queen excluder off, they'll start using the bottom entrance. I moved the brood nest down to the bottom. The other thing that I did, it might be not too clear, I've sequestered the drones in here. The drones were from the nasty hive, and the drones passed the genetics. 
If you noticed when I took the box off, there were drones all over the top of the queen excluder. I walked them over, shook them down in the grass, and just stomped on all of them to destroy them. I don't want those drones out mating with other queens in the yard. So I put the queen excluder in order to prevent those drones from flying, and they were all down on the queen excluder. As soon as I lifted the box, I could see them. And I was really successful in getting a good majority of them and uh, killing them so that they don't go out and mate. And as far as I could see, this hive has a normal disposition. Now there's a lot of bees flying around me like the other video, but honestly that's just because when you take away the top entrance of a hive and they've been using the top entrance, they're going to be flying in the air up there. In time, next couple weeks, especially since the queen excluder is not on here anymore, they'll start using the bottom entrance and they'll hardly ever go to the top. Now it's funny how some hives are. Some of them use the top entrance all the time. They don't even, they ignore the bottom entrance. But in my estimation, this, this hive is gonna change and they'll go down and start using the bottom entrance. So I'm really excited about the fact that this hive is calm. There's plenty of brood. I was looking at the queen patterns and there's capped brood throughout that box. And the population is really good. I really would have liked to take a mite sample today, but you know what? It's a little disruptive. I was restructuring the box. I'll come back on another day. It's getting a little late in the afternoon and a lot of the foragers are back and I've aggravated them enough. I'll come back some other time and take care of that. So good, happy, and result for this. And this shows that you can somewhat take a nasty hive and mitigate it and save some of the bees because that's what basically is going on here by requeening part of the population. And I'm super happy with the outcome.